Today we're going to do a shoulder workout. This is the second video in my series, Training Like Thor. Each one of these workouts are based on a program celebrity trainer Duffy Gaver had Chris Hemsworth doing when he was originally preparing himself for the role of Thor. So if you've ever wanted those wide superhero sized shoulders, this is the video for you. We are going to take a look at not only how he trained, but what I'm doing right in this workout and what I need to improve on. So let's get right into it. I've added in some light dynamic neck stretches into my upper body warm up just to help alleviate some of the stiffness I've been feeling from the extra time spent in this training program. Now the first exercise up is shoulder presses and it starts out with three sets of 10, 8 and 6 reps respectively. I have my elbows slightly forward, not straight out to my sides. This takes a little stress off my shoulder and is much more comfortable for me. Back when my shoulders were really giving me trouble, I would have to do shoulder presses in the neutral position in order for them not to bother me. Now the last four sets of shoulder presses I do is with a slightly heavier weight and I do five reps in each set. Watch my arm on the second last rep of my last set. I don't quite control the weight down. It may have been just a momentary lack of focus, but it is a sure sign that I'm not yet ready to increase the weight or the reps for this exercise. Total lack of control on that second from the last rep there. Lose focus for a minute, that one's just coming down too fast. We are now into Arnold presses, and I do four sets of 12 reps of this exercise. Arnold presses do work all three heads of the shoulder, but they tend to work the anterior delt a little bit more because of having the dumbbells in the front of the body at the start of the movement. Now I like doing exercises standing whenever possible, as the body has to work a little bit harder just to stabilize itself. It is a lot easier to have perfect form on this exercise if you do it seated, with your back supported. You will see as I get into my last reps of my last set that I start to lean back and begin to use more of my upper chest to move the dumbbells. This is a form flaw and I need to correct it before I ever consider increasing the weight. You can see more than just my shoulders are working. My traps are working too when I do these presses. So here's where I'm starting to lean back and using more of my upper chest as my delts start to tire out. Those last two reps were pretty sloppy. We are now on to upright rows. I do four sets of 12 on this exercise as well. There are a few key things on upright rows to watch for. One is to keep your dumbbells just outside of your body and don't let your elbows raise up higher than your shoulders. We're going to stop for a brief posing break then back to our regular scheduled programming. The other thing that you don't hear about often is that your forearms should raise up as your elbows lift up and be parallel to the floor when you reach the top position. This helps keep your shoulder in a more natural movement pattern. I like upright rows because they do such a great job of hitting both the lateral head of the shoulders and the traps. But if you wanted to, you could do shrugs here as that is what the original program calls for. So now we are into the tricep we talked about in the training split we designed last week. It starts with lateral raises, then goes to front raises and finishes off with reverse flies. This is an exercise you don't need a lot of weight for and it will get your shoulders really pumped up. We do three sets of 15 reps of each exercise for a total of 135 reps. The volume of this program really has an old school vibe to it. Of the three heads of the shoulder, the rear delts are probably the most neglected and when they are well developed, they give your shoulders that complete shape. Reverse flies really target the rear delts, but another exercise you could add into this workout is elbow out rows, which is a great upper back exercise and hits the rear delts quite effectively as well. It doesn't take long for the lactic acid to build up and the muscles to really start to burn. You just have to work through it as it's a bit of a mental test. You can see from the look on my face that I'm feeling the burn. Now 
done. So that wraps up this shoulder workout. I still have back, chest, abs to show you guys. So that'll be coming up in the future months. But until then, keep working out, keep having fun. This is Lawrence from 50 We'll talk to you again in the next one.